So when you talk about detoxing and getting those those lead, uh, getting those metals out of our body, how do we do it? And we and well, do we have to be careful. Well, chel we do that? chelation means the word chelation means metal binding. And chelation comes, and that comes from the word chele, C H E L E, the hard C, like in chemistry, and that, and that's a Greek word for claw, or, mm -hmm. and so that's how chelation works. It claws and grabs hold, like a like like the steam shovel things, grabs hold of the lead, the cadmium, mercury, and takes it out the kidney. It's okay. it puts it in solution. Uh, so the chelation ha, ha, has that function. Now the chelation isn't smart enough to choose only the lead and the other poisonous metals. It also takes out good things like like mm -hmm. zinc and magnesium and calcium. It takes these things out, but it takes out the toxic metals preferentially, depending on which chelating agent you use. So the best chelating agent for toxic metals is calcium EDTA. The next best is sodium EDTA. EDTA is a synthetic amino acid, so amino acids are very innocent uh, block, building blocks of protein. If you, uh, if you have the amino acid, uh, if you have amino acids chelating, chel amino acids that contain sulfur are natural chelators. That's where you get f what you get from beans, for example. Beans mm -hmm. are good natural chelators. Okay. Uh, and so, so if you, they have their drawbacks too, of course. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, but, but the beans are, na are good natural chelators. And, and if you give EDTA in the form of calcium EDTA, you can give it safely in fairly large amounts quickly, and you can hook on to the toxic metals and take them out and decrease the body burden. Now, I've seen wonderful things. I, I had a patient once who was a steel trap young executive in a bank. His brain was just incredibly, and he started to lose it. And he was late 30s, 37, 38, when he really should have been at the height of his powers. Mm. He started to lose it. And I happened to do a hair test on him uh, to, as a routine check because nobody could figure out what was wrong with him. We did the numerous neurologists, all sorts of other doctors. Nobody figured out. Uh, his, his hair test showed an enormous amount of lead. And it turned out he was turning gray prematurely, and he used a formula that was loaded with lead. And mm -hmm. that lead happened to absorb into his body. Not everybody absorbs lead in their body through the skin. Happened to absorb, checked him for the body burden of lead, it was enormous, started chelating him with EDTA, and uh, he got back to normal. Hmm. I, I don't know what would have happened to him. His career would have probably been ruined if, he had, if we hadn't stumbled on that lead burden.